This is the super medieval center of the city of Rennes, the capital of Brittany. On Saturday morning, the Marché des Lys is one of the largest and most atmospheric farmers' markets of France. It has been operating since 1622, and I am grateful to discover the local specialties with Olivier Marie, a local gourmand journalist. The mild climate of Brittany is ideal to grow the finest vegetables, and it's excellent for strawberries. Olivier wants me to taste one of the popular local savory pancakes. Vin Gabriel, c'est la spécialité de Rennes, la galette saucisse. Ça doit être bon. Tu veux goûter? Oui, bien sûr. Une galette saucisse, s'il vous plaît. The large but very thin pancakes are made with delicious buckwheat flour. They are cooked on special hot plates before being garnished with a plain pork sausage. Mm. I really like that. After that, I am thirsty, and it's time to have a drink. Merci, mon gars. Merci. Tu vois, Gabriel, ici, c'est la région du cidre. On n'a pas de vin. C'est le cidre breton rafraîchissant, un cidre de pays, quoi tel bret. Très bon. Très pétillant, très rafraîchissant. Mmh. Mmh. Fruité. J'aime bien. Every family in Brittany knows how to make crêpes. First, I place one cup of plain flour in a bowl, making a well in the center, and drop in an egg. I mix a little milk with the egg, then slowly incorporate the flour, adding more milk to obtain a smooth, creamy mixture. Then I heat some butter in the crepe pan, then mix the warm batter into the crepe mixture. Next, I pour enough mixture into the pan to thinly cover the base and cook on both sides. French pancakes are always better very thin. I then spread a little jam and cream on one half of the crepe, top with strawberry slices and fold the crepe it tastes beautiful, dusted with icing sugar. You can serve this crêpe aux fraises if you invite me for dinner. Brittany has a great tradition of making delicious cakes and pastries. Rennes is blessed to have one of the best pâtisseries in France, brown by master pastry chef Laurent Le Daniel. Petit assortiment de petits fours pour, euh, pour le week-end. It is a delight to visit his kitchen and to see his chefs at work, putting the final touches on this palette of little morsels that all look like masterpieces. To watch him create a chocolate flower to garnish a petit gâteau is a treat to the eye. Now I understand why he was awarded the title of one of the best pâtissiers in France as a 29-year-old. Laurent also introduced me to a little Breton cake I had never tasted before. Le parlementin, c'est une spécialité que j'ai créée euh, il y a environ une quinzaine d'années maintenant, euh, qui est composée d'un euh, petit biscuit aux amandes, d'une nougatine et d'une compotée à base de cidre. C'est délicieux. So tender the apple and the cider comes through. Très bon. Tomorrow I discover the delights of the south coast of Brittany and I visit an oyster farmer.